All right, welcome back. We're continuing on the same demonstration of learning C structure skills. And I'm picking up from the previous video that we did. Uh, as a quick review, in the first video, we looked at how you could do a type def of a structure to have a student type. That was kind of the first learning of that video. We found that once you define, in this case, a student underscore T for student type, you could define variables like John, a student type, and Sally, a student type. In the second video, the second lesson, we saw how you could pass as an input parameter a uh, student, and you could access those members of the student, that is, we could access the name, the ID, the GPA. We could access them and print them out. Importantly, we could not change them. So even if we tried to change it here, we only changed it local inside this function, but we did not change the main value that was here. And in fact, that's why when we called John Doe back to back, we saw that the GPA was still 95. Same thing with Sally Smith, her GPA stayed the same. In this video, we're going to see how you can pass a structure as an input and an output. Basically show how you can change the value. So to do this, let's have a function that actually I will say void, meaning it doesn't return anything from the function. However, I'm going to do printf student, actually not printf, we'll say let's initialize, we'll say init student, and we're going to pass into this a student type pointer to student. Okay, a pointer, so star star p, I'll say pointer. And then we'll go pass into that. We'll go have a character pointer. So a character pointer um, name. We're also going to pass into it an integer ID. We're also going to pass into it a double GPA. So we're going to pass these three items into there as well as giving it a pointer to student. So this means we could say P pointing to the, the ID is going to equal to the ID that's passed in. And um, P, which is a pointer, offset by GPA, we'll set it to GPA, and maybe even we'll begin by having a string copy of P pointing to the name, we will have the name that got passed into us, right, which is also a pointer. So by doing this, the key thing is if you pass in a pointer, you can indeed change those values because it's what it is pointing to. So what this means, and by the way, notice the difference here. We're accessing it with dot notation because we've passed in the whole structure. So we access it using dot notation. Here, though, we're passing in a pointer. So we're using this pointer notation. Basically, basically the pointer, and then this is the offset from that pointer. Now remember, you're following along writing this code as well. So what this means, the way we initialized John with the GPA, these, 
these entries here. I'm going to change it and say this was in slash star. This was the uh, video one. Right, we did it like that. But now in this video, I'm going to say init student and the student I want to knit, I'm going to give a pointer to John. So pointer to John. I'll say John Doe and 1, 2, 3 and 95.5. So notice we're giving it the pointer of where it's at and the values we want to initialize it to. In a similar manner, I can do the same thing with Sally Smith. I'll say this was video one. We did it like this. But in video two, I'm going to say init student. And when I say init student, I say give a pointer to Sally. So a pointer to Sally. And the values I want to initialize it to is Sally. Smith, 456, and 98.5. So, great way of showing the structure to be initialized. Right, we initialized John, we initialized Sally, and we have this function where we can do the initialization. Let's click on Run. Check this out. We initialized John Doe. Of course, we called it twice. And we initialized Sally Smith. Looks like I left the H off of that. So Sally Smith. There we go. So, I would say the key learning of this video is to know the difference between passing in a pointer to a structure such that you can then change it because you're using the pointer as opposed to passing in the structure with all the data all in one block and you can access it but you cannot change it. Okay Make sure your video is doing what, what uh, I have showing in this video here. In the next video will cover a little more on our C skills related to structures. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.